Hey guys, Robbie Webster here. Um, sorry if you can't hear me, I need to talk quietly because my wife's sleeping. Um, I wanted to just make a vlog tonight. I don't know why, but I just really felt in the mood to make one. Um, as you can see, Christmas tree set up. We've got the presents underneath it now. And as you can also see, it's dark out. It's 1 a.m. And I am about to show you what I do every night um, because of my new hours at work. I have to leave work, leave my house right now to go to work. So, yeah, I guess I'll just show you my routine and hopefully this isn't too boring. But I'm going to post it as a video response to Mr. Benji's TV. Mr. Benji TV, um, he, he posted a video tonight that I just watched called My Nights, and so yeah, I'm going to post this as a response to that. So let's go. Time to go to work. Okay, so we're outside my apartment complex right now. Um, it's actually Monday. I've had to work several days in a row. By the time I'm done, I'll have worked 11 days in a row. Due to uh, the holiday, we're really busy, so unfortunately that means a lot of work for me to do. But I just want to show you something that I haven't shown you guys on video yet. You see that SUV right there? That's mine. Um, I had a we had to get a second vehicle when we got married. Uh, it's just a really it's a it's rusty. It's 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 not that great. I'm just hoping it lasts me a year or two. But it's a Toyota 4Runner. That's what I normally drive to work. But thankfully, Hannah doesn't have to go anywhere until noon tomorrow. And I usually get home around noon. So I get to take my nice Cobalt. I've missed this car a lot. So, yeah. Alright, so I'm just in the car letting it warm up a little bit before I head out. Um... I need to set up a little a little system like Shane Jensen does to do his vlogs in the car. Um, I think he just uses a piece of Velcro on the dash. I should do something like that. I'll probably do it in the truck though because that's what I mainly drive to work and then maybe I'll do some more vlogs. But um, yeah, I'm just going to let the car warm up a little bit and then I'm going to get going. Actually, I don't start work until 2.30 a.m. But when my wife goes to bed... I, I watch, I, I mean, I, there's only so many YouTube videos you can watch before you get sick of just sitting around. So I like to leave early, and I'll show you what I do normally, um, just to pass the time and until I have to start my job. Um, and I, I won't be able to show you any videos of the inside of my, my workplace, just because I'm not sure what their policy is on that, and I don't want to get in any trouble. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll show you the parking lot, um, but that's about it. But, um... Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the ride. If I have to go to work, you have to go to work. Now, there's some pros and cons to uh, going to work at this time of night. Um, some of the pros are there's not a lot of cars on the street. Um, it's nice and quiet. You tend to get to work quicker. You don't have to deal with traffic. Um, but the negatives are, first of all, it just sucks having to drive that late at night. Um, also, the when it snows out, and trust me, this year has been horrible. We had 19 inches in 24 hours. But when it snows out, which it has for like every night up until the last two nights, um, the roads are don't get cleared out until well after. I mean, I'm already at work by the time the plows get out. So I'm always driving in like crazy conditions, and it sucks. Um, another negative is that basically you us I usually see like a a few cars, a few like other cars, people like me driving to work or whatever. Or, but there's some drunk drivers too, and uh, you you I notice at least one every night. But um, the the other negative is there seems to be like more cops than other cars, and even if you're doing nothing wrong, they'll like get up on you and tailgate you to try to to like get to try to like get you to do something so that they can pull you over. I think they're just bored. Cause there's nobody else on the streets and they're just trying to like they're just suspicious of everyone or something and it's just really annoying when they come and tailgate you when you're not doing anything wrong but um here in new york state we do have a, a law um against using cell phones 
um, while driving. Um, so I'm going to put the camera away now because it, I don't want it to be mistaken for a cell phone because it's like a $100 ticket. But um, yeah, I'll show you guys more when I get to the lo first location where I'm going, okay? Alright, so <clears throat> normally I wouldn't stop for food or anything, but I didn't eat dinner tonight. And plus I watched uh, Shane Jensen's Friday Night Ritual, so of course I'm hungry after watching that. As you can see, there's Wegmans over there. I don't know if all any of you have ever been to a Wegmans, but it's like the bomb grocery store around here. It's the best. Um, I'm stopping at Taco Bell. I know it's not anything special, but I'll just show you guys what I normally order. Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm going to get down. Can I get uh, number seven chicken? With uh, soft taco. And Mountain Dew. Okay, so I got a number seven chicken, soft taco, and Mountain Dew. Yep. And what else can I get down? Can I also get a crunchy taco? Okay. And mild sauce. Okay. And that's it. So that can do your order? Yep. So you're from a 635 with the second window. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so I just got my food and I am about to drive to the spot that I go to eat my food. Did you guys notice that I was pretty polite when I was ordering my stuff? Um, this is just like a little life lesson that I'm going to instill into you younger viewers. Um, if you take the time to tell people please and thank you and to be polite, you'll be happier. I mean, it's it's true. I, I, I used to be, I mean, I, I've always kind of been like that with strangers, but um, really ever since I came back to work from my injury, I, ha I had a shoulder injury, I've been striving to just be a, a happier person just to be like... Um, more kind to people and not get as angry, just not be as e easily angered and everything. Sorry, I, I noticed that you couldn't see my face anymore because I left the parking lot. There's an, a jerk tailgating me right now and I'm going the speed limit, I'm going above the speed limit. But uh, anyways, I found that if, you, if you're kind to people and if you're polite, it, it, it just changes your attitude about everything and it makes you happier. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. And, I know it doesn't really fit in with this video. It's this video is not too serious or anything, but um, I'll tell you where I'm going real quick. I'm going to the Walmart um, near close to my work. Uh, I like to go there at night and just walk around. But I figured I'd eat my food in the parking lot. So uh, yeah, see you in a minute. Okay, so I am now turning into the Walmart parking lot. Um, I'll show you what that looks like, as if none of you have seen a Walmart parking lot before. But this is the one I always like to go to. Um, there's a lot of cool memories in this place. Um, right over there on the other side of the plaza behind me, that's where I got my Nintendo Wii. Um, I got it when it first came out. And I actually waited in line for 10 hours to get it. It was on Black Friday. Um, and yeah, that really sucked. Because it was so cold out. But I am going to eat my food. Um, and then I'm going to go inside Walmart. And I'll, I'll just shoot a couple quick videos in there. Um, I'm hoping that Uncle Phil is working tonight. Um, and if, I, if, I, if I'm able to, I'll, I'll get a video of him real quick so I can show you who he is. Um, my friends and I joke around because he looks kind of like Uncle Phil from Fresh Prince. But, yeah, I'm going to eat real quick and then I'll show you some video inside Walmart. Alright, so Uncle Phil is here. But there were too many people standing around for me to film him. Um, I was just too scared to put the camera on him or even lift it up. So... Yeah, I'm just walking back to the electronics section, of course. Ew. Oh. OK, 
Okay, so I'm just leaving the store now, and don't tell my wife, but I just splurged on some movies. You can see. I think I bought eight DVDs and two Blu-rays, so yeah, you guys will be seeing those in future updates. Okay, so I'm pulling into work now. It's 1.59 a.m. I'm still early for work, and yeah, as you can see, I work for Wegmans. I work in their bakery warehouse, so I make all the sliced bread that you eat at Wegmans, all the rolls and all the sliced bread um, that you buy at Wegmans that has the Wegmans brand name on them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, just showing you my daily routine. Um, I'm not sure how the camera angles look because most of the time I've been driving. But um, yeah, it's a pretty random video. Um, but I enjoyed watching Mr. Benji TV's video. And I thought maybe there'd be someone out there that would enjoy watching this too. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.